Okay guys, hey, I found another Pontiac. Matter of fact, now I did two videos on two different ones. Guess what, it's a Fiero. Now I found three within, well, this year. So my friend got one, found one at Gateway Classic Cars. Now I found one here at Country Classic Cars. Let's take a look at this one. You're gonna like this one, it's very special. All right guys, it's a 1984 Pontiac Fiero. It's a pace car. I guess they had these as pace cars back in the day for the 68th Indianapolis 500. And uh, it's one of 2000 it was made. Hmm. Still seems like it's a pretty well intact car. We can see it in the front end. Go down the side. Fisher Pace car. Yep. 1984. May 27th, 1984. Hmm. I must have missed that. So this is not a GT model. It's a Fiero, Indy Fiero model. See the tips, both sides. Back end looks pretty decent. Got a spoiler on it. Let's look at the other side. Actually, this car is pretty solid. I'm not finding anything standing out that's wrong with it. As we look at this, it's got a pop top sunroof. Right, let's check out the driver's side. Right, as you guys can see, the two tone color seats here. You know, there's no back seat, so we ain't gonna even be worried about nothing back there. But. Automatic. It's got a cover, a felt like cover on the dashboard. So it protected the dashboard, which is cool. I'm looking. I really don't see much wrong with this thing. Speedometer right there. Most of your tack is right in there. Then you have on the lumbar. Electric windows. Power locks. Driver's door looks pretty good. Let's check out the passenger side. Door looks pretty clean. I have, look at that speakers right there on the headrest. I do believe. Okay, let's look at the information. 84 Pontiac Fiero pace car. 2.5 four cylinder. You see the price. Okay. Okay guys, hey, I found a old Coronet. This was featured on another YouTube video and uh, I saw it and I was very interested. And I said, man, it's here at Country Classic Cars. So I wanted to check it out. So I came here and uh, I'm looking at it. It's nice car, probably a rare car, maybe, but it's very peculiar when you see it. It's a station wagon. And uh, I'll let you guys look at it. You be the judge of this thing.
Okay? Let's take a look at it. Okay, guys. We're looking at a 68 Dodge Cornet 500 station wagon. And as you can see it, it's got a 383 in there. So you look down the side. Seems to be a pretty straight body, but I don't think this is the original paint on here. And I am finding a little rust spots here and there, rust bubbles. <coughs> the hood scoop, if you get a little closer, you can see the carburetor right there. So that Ram Air is on it. It says this is one of 289 built by uh, Chrysler Dodge Plymouth. You go down the side. It's a nine passenger vehicle. Isn't that something? Three, three, three in the back. But it all depends on the size of the people. But you put You put two big mamas in the front and Two big mamas in the back, you ain't got much room. <laughs> and big girls could take up space, you know. And this car probably was built big enough and sturdy enough to carry that type of weight. Look at that. Luggage rack right back up here on the top. And lay that seat down back there. You got more room for more luggage. <laughs> that real fast fuel for putting the, you know gassing it up i don't think that's original though i think somebody just put that on there swing it around back dual exhaust for this 383 but see what threw me off was as you see that trailer hitch it's painted green as well. So I'm thinking that this is all painted over the original paint color and it may not have been green. Let's take a look at the other side, the passenger side again. It seems to be a solid body. Like I said, I think somebody just painted this thing just to get rid of it. And if it was green before, this is not the original green, I do believe. Let's look at the passenger side. I was able to get the door open. As you can see, it's got its wear. You look in, but the seats, you know, they look pretty solid. Seats do look pretty solid. You got the floor. Carpet needs to be redone. dashboard is in really good shape and the dash is in pretty good shape let's look back here at the second row hey door closes up pretty good uh-huh it has its wear back here for what I can see these seats seem like they held up you got a little bit of mold in here yeah so and there's no headliner so whatever water leaked in and caused some mold in here so yeah this thing's gonna need a little bit of work to it, even though it's a peculiar looking station wagon. It needs some 10 to 11 care. 
And anybody who's interested in this thing can come here to Country Classic Cars and get a good look at it and see if they want to restore it. Boy, buy it as is and just fix it up to drive. Who knows? But it's a 68 Dodge Coronet 500 station wagon. Rare find, one of 289. Nine passenger. Yeah, rebuilt 383 big block. I had to look that back over again. So it's a rebuilt motor. Auto trans. Yeah, you see the price? Contact Country Classic Cars if you like it. Come take a look at it.